Well, hello everybody, Madacaster here, and today we are back once again in CMS 2021. And I figure, let's do a ground up build from the junkyard. At least we're getting really close to level 15. We're at level 13 right now to where we can do car auctions and unlock some other handy new things that I'm quite excited about. But for now, we can, well, we could either do a barn find or a junkyard. Let's start with the junkyard if we don't find anything there. Then maybe we'll move on to one of the barns. Guys, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing just fine out there. I'm just happy to be back in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 grinding away. Working our way up by doing these little uh, these little builds. I enjoy the customer cars, but uh, the builds are my favorite. Especially the ones from the ground up. And we are here, nothing parked up over here this time around. One thing I have noticed is that in uh, the 2021, there's not usually nearly as many cars in the junkyard as there used to be with uh, CMS 2018. Sometimes it's pretty hit and miss and we have a GTR here. In really bad shape. Man, that thing is rough. Yeah, 2016 Nissan GTR. Mileage 55,000 miles. And uh, got a price of $30,000. We could definitely cover that, but it is missing a lot of pieces. The pieces are there that are there aren't in great shape. And remember, we're not we're not at uh, level 15 yet to be able to repair body panels yet, so that would all have to be brand new. But it's a GTR. One major problem is, is I'm down here. This thing's up on a hill. It doesn't let me go up there to see uh, how the engine is. The interior is gutted. It's gone. Everything appears to be gutted and gone. It appears to have an aftermarket body kit that was put on there. I'd want to fix that back. This would be a lot of work, but uh, that's what we're here to do. We're here to bring these things back to life. So let's go ahead and do it. GTR. It's, you know, it's an incredible car. we got to take that thing and get it back on the road, guys. We picked our car. Nissan GTR. Headed back to the garage. All right, let's go see if our GTR has arrived. And sure enough, there it is. Oh, that is rough. Yeah, I couldn't even see this side. I couldn't even see in the hood. Yeah, and we've got next to nothing left here. Definitely going to be quite quite a build, that's for sure. This paintwork looks terrible. I don't know what happened here. This poor thing. Look at how dented up the roof is and everything. Poor GTR. Well, let's get it cleaned up and see... Uh, See what color it was. I guess it was white. Beautiful. I do love these things in white. But man, that has uncovered a lot of issues here. And some sort of gold body kit. White with a gold body kit. Okay, to each their own, I suppose. Let's get this thing in the garage and get to work. First thing I'm going to do is bring the welder over here. And we're going to fix a lot of this back here that's what was that's what made the paint look so bad was all this surface rust looks terrible looks like it's been under the uh been under the ocean something like that we'll go ahead and take care of that for 2800 bucks and you can see it disappearing there looking much better straighten out the roof if only it were that easy in real life definitely want to get this body kit off of here that's just bugging me that's much better much better than well, that weird thing so it's looking pretty good now that I stripped off a lot of the bad body pant man. We need a lot of body panels and uh, a, a lot of interior and a lot of engine stuff, a lot of running gear stuff. So, with that being said, let's get it up in the air. I doubt there's any oil in the engine, but uh, I would typically drain the uh, drain the oil, and it doesn't even have an oil pan. So, how about that? <laughs> At least that's something we don't have to do. It looks like all this running gear, everything is pretty much shot, so I'm just going to start or tearing everything down, ripping everything off. Then we'll go through and see what we can repair, and what we can't repair we will replace, but man, yeah, this this poor thing has uh, lived a hard life, that's for sure. We'll get the wheel hub bearing out of here, as well as the front wheel hub. Got a stuck bolt there, got a little spray, there we go. Then we'll get the knuckle cover off. Go ahead and grab this sway bar in link. Get that out of here. Take care of the shock assembly. Get this lower suspension arm here. 
Another stuck bolt. Well, you know, I think we're going to run into uh, quite a few of those in this build today, <laughs> guys. This thing is definitely, definitely seen better days. It's not taken care of. Not much we can tell. Yeah, a lot of these bolts need, uh, need a little spray to get them off. Okay, get that. Outer tie rod, inner tie rod, and then we can get this knuckle out of here. That is the front torn down. Now we can get over here to the back. Get that caliper out of here. Brake pads. This brake disc. Go ahead and remove. Yep, oh, yep. TV shaft here. These are such fantastic cars, these uh, GTRs. I would sure love to own one someday. Incredible cars. Get this. This is this is one of those cars with a pretty, uh, pretty uh, complicated rear suspension here, as to be expected. I mean, it's a GTR, so I'll stop drooling over the GTR. <laughs> I love, I love all sorts of cars. I like, I love old cars. I love new cars. But man, there's some cars that are just really special. Get this rear shock cap out of here, and we can take care of that spring. We'll get the suspension arm. More stuck bolts. One there and one there. Out they come. We can get this sway bar in link here. This is going to be a lot of parts that are need going to be needed to replace this car, especially with these more complicated rear end here. I think the majority of these parts are going to need to be replaced, but we're going to repair what we can. Oh, we gotta get this yep, small rubber bushing out of here, then we can get rid of the knuckle housing. That's right. Alright, that's that side done. Now we can get the sway bar steering rack. Get these rubber bushings out of the front K member here. We'll do the same for the rear and get those out. So now we are left with the drive shafts and get those out of here. Do the spray. Same with that right there. Get that out of here. And we can start removing all of the transmission stuff, transfer case and whatnot. Looks like there's a transaxle back here. Get that out of here. Drive shaft down. Okay, there we go. Get that gearbox out of here. And we can jump over to this one, remove the starter. Somebody's removed the starter for us. And we can get this flywheel cover out of here. Unbolt that. We are left here with the clutch throw up bearing or release bearing, clutch pressure plate. More loving needed on these <laughs> bolts. We got three stuck ones here. that out of here and then onto our clutch and flywheel can come off as well now we are left with everything engine wise which isn't a whole lot not a lot at all we can start from the top and then we're gonna need to go back up under there timing cover Get that out of here this car is just gonna be down to its bare bones it almost pretty much was already Get this idler roller B out of here. Not not a whole lot of teardown to do. Somebody's already done most of it for us. Get this front timing cover off. Oh man. Lots of stuck bolts here too. Lots of bolts in general. I have not rebuilt this engine before. This is new to me. Because this is in the this is in the Nissan DLC. Which is very cool. I've, I've been waiting to come across this car for some time. Just didn't expect it to be in this rough of shape, but hey, that's what we get for going to the junkyard, right? Got what I wanted right there, right? Okay, we can get these chain tensioner, chain shoe thingies off. And then we can, yeah, there's the other one, timing chain shoe, as they call it. It could be a chain tensioner, however you want to 
look at it, however you want to call it. Timing chain there, and a timing chain there. At least if I've done this engine, I don't recall doing it. And I don't believe I have in uh, CMS 2021. I haven't done a whole lot, as you can see. Still pretty low there in the level, but we're gaining experience. We're getting there. This timing cover can come off. No stuck bolts this time. And we are a little further down. Let's get these camshaft caps off of here. Only six bolts. Not so bad. But yeah, it's, it's becoming apparent how much is really missing out of this car. At least we have the cams. Get the head off of here. A little more spray. You're gonna be seeing a lot of that, I think, in this teardown. And then we will need to go underneath, unless I can actually pull it. Yeah, there's no, uh, there's no rod caps. There is one on that one. At least there's that. Okay, time to tear down the other side of the engine. Turns out there's only one piston on this side, so we don't have to. Oh nope, there's one right there. Oh no, they're just sunk down real far. Okay, this one's a top dead center. Okay, take this radiator out and go ahead and start pulling all of this out because I'm guessing that's a lot of this is going to need to be replaced. We'll find out what needs to get replaced in here just by taking it all out, making sure it's all removed and see, you know, what, get an idea of the condition that it's in. Let's send this thing back up in the air and take care of those few, those two pistons left. Now we can get this transfer case off of here and the engine block. Grab that from the top. Go down, there we go, <laughs> grab that from the top, and we can start repairing what needs to be repaired, which is quite a lot, really. Hopefully we'll be able to repair that block. This thing is stripped. At least I'm able to repair three of the rotors so far. Getting a decent amount of stuff repaired here. Not too bad, really. That took quite a while, but we were able to repair a good amount of stuff here. Um, yeah, there's still a good amount that will need to be replaced, but we got quite a few things repaired. So that's good. Look at this shopping list already, and it's still not done. It's still got more to go. You know, hopefully I'm not in over my head here, 70000 What a letdown that would be, but hey, if we run out of money, we've got some customer jobs we could do. We could just have this thing over to the side. I could knock out a few customer jobs off camera and be able to get to the point where we will be able to, because this, this car's getting done. This GTR is getting done. There's no way around it. We are ready to get this GTR back together. I already put in the block. Went ahead and threw in the radiator and fan. The air filter is that thing, that whole thing. You've seen it a million times. So figure, get those out of the way and start going for the engine. Underneath, at least. Let us get our crank, oh, not front sway bar. Let's get our crankshaft in there. Might as well get our bearing caps. Tighten down, there we go. There's one and two. From there, I guess we could do our transfer case right here while we're here, why not? Anything else from underneath? Nope. So we'll drop in our pit, drop the car, drop in our pistons. How about that? There we go. Start putting this all back together. I know I could do it on the engine stand, but sometimes it's fun just to do it in the car. That sounded terribly dirty. <laughs> okay, we got our engine head cover here. We might as well do this and then we'll, we'll, we'll lift the car when we need to. And, Tighten all the rod caps down there. We get our rocker arm B, camshaft. Hey, might as well put in our spark plugs while we've got good access to them. I did buy some performance parts for this car just to have a little upgrade over stock. I do plan on doing a full GTR blowout, like throw everything at it we can performance wise soon when we have more money to do that i didn't want to get didn't want to do that to this one in case we ran out of money you see i've only got about eighteen thousand credits left after buying all these parts that i need or at least i think i need we'll find out as we go through if i forgot anything hopefully i didn't usually i do a pretty decent job of making my uh 
parts list pretty good. Let me get this cover back on. And I also upgraded the paint booth. Figured I've got the money, might as well. It's not like we're running real close on this car. Turbo and manifold. That is in, that is that side of the engine built out. Onto the other side. On to the intake. Intake manifold here. That all tightened down. We should be able to put on our fuel rails. There's one. And then the other should allow us to put on our upper intake. There it is, intake manifold. How gorgeous is that? Absolutely love it. Okay. Don't necessarily need to put the cover on yet. Still gotta put oil in the thing and everything. Put this throttle body on and throw on the other one on this side. Beautiful GTR with its <laughs> double throttle bodies. So cool. Twin turbos as well. Let's might as well take care of that right here. I didn't go for the performance turbos. They were very, very expensive. I just want to try to play it a little cool. But yes, I definitely plan on doing a full on performance built GTR video for sure. When, when money is no object, <laughs> we'll get there one of these days, for sure. We'll get this timing cover area here on cam, cam gear. And another cam gear, and we could probably put on our, yep, little timing chain there. Water pump. Goes right in there. Another cam gear on this side. Another one there. Well, we might as well throw on our alternator while we're thinking about it and then get that timing chain it gives us good access to that other timing chain there now our main timing chain there we go goes on and then we can put on our shoes put on our shoes our timing shoes here there's one and then there is the other now we should be able to yep get the other cover back on lots of bolts here just go all around here Tons of them, surprisingly. Pretty important part, I must must be here. Then we do our timing cover B. Looks like this is got the crank angle, crank angle sensor, camshaft sensor, whatever that might be. I don't know. I don't own a GTR, but you can tell it's got sensors here and here and something there. Get our idler roller here. Another idler roller. We get a bunch of these to get ready for our serpentine belt. Go ahead and put on our harmonic balancer. Another idler roller here. And it is ready for, oh, there it is. Another idler roller B. On you go. Then we get our serpentine belt on there and we should have a tensioner. There it is. On it goes, just like that. Perfect. And again, I'm not going to put the cover on the engine yet because we do have to put oil in this engine. Let's go ahead and put in our all this reservoirs. I think we need to put in a brake servo. There it is. Brake master cylinder. Get you in there. A battery right there. On to, I believe we had some fuses somewhere, right? There it goes. Fuse box A. Drop you in, and of course we got a bunch of relays and fuses to put in. And then the cover goes on just like that. Perfect. I did get a performance fuel filter. Just get a little more flow through there. And we need our ABS pump as well as our module. There you go. Tighten that all down. I think we're pretty good here in the engine bay. We want to go ahead and do fluids while we're here. Go ahead and do that. Okay, there's the windshield washer fluid, but I did just did just did just hit me that the bottom half of this engine is still open. I don't want to be throwing oil in while we while we have an open no oil pan or anything like that. So 
Let's get our rod caps on. And we can put our oil pan on just like that. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oil filter, spin around, there you are. On just like that, we should be good there. Okay, let's bring it back down and finish up our fluids. Power steering topped up. Move on to the coolant. Good to go there. And now we can move on to engine oil. There we go. Start pouring it in. That black gold, Texas tea. Okay, that's on, and that means we can go ahead and put on the beautiful GTR engine cover. There it is right there. Very nicely done. Throw on our flywheel, our clutch plate. We get our clutch pressure plate. There we go, and throw out bearing. Oh, I'm working ahead of myself here. And then our throw out bearing right there. Get you in there. Now we can put on our flywheel cover. There we go. Now that gives us room for the starter. There it is. Starter. In you go. I did buy a performance exhaust for this. Might as well go to that. Because I like the sound of these things with a performance exhaust. And we'll see what kind of improvements it gets us. Let's get down here. There it is. Catalytic converter. All this being upgraded. Nice. Shiny, stainless. There we go. That. There we go. And on the very tips. Let's get down there. There it is. <laughs> We're going to go with just the standard because I like the black. I think it works really well. Hey, we're here. Let's throw in our fuel tank. And I did buy a performance fuel pump. And there it goes. So we're doing subtle performance upgrades here and there. Let's go ahead and throw this transaxle in back here while we're here. And now we can build out the back end. But first, I want to be able to get kind of the running gear stuff done. Get this drive shaft in here. So that is taken care of. I think we can now move on to, unless I missed anything, onto suspension stuff. Let's get the front suspension over here. Starting, we got to get the K member in. There it goes. And all the wonderful little rubber bushings. Front sway bar. In you go. As well as the steering rack. Now we can get back to what we were doing over here. Throw in our steering knuckle. Get our knuckle cover on. On you go. Lower suspension arm with multiple rubber bushings. There's a lot of rubber bushings that go into this car, especially more than any other car I've done so far. I think it was 24, 26 of them. It's quite a bit that I bought. I don't know. Maybe I'll run out. Maybe I'll need more. We're going to find out for sure. Get our shock assembly in. All brand new. All good to go. And then our sway bar front end link B. On it goes. Our front wheel hub. Looks like we've got everything taken care of. There. A bearing, of course. Then we need our front drive axle. Brake disc ventilated. Brake pads. Which always the brake disc ventilated just means it's the front brakes. It goes to the front. You just get the regular disc in the rear. And that should be... Oh, tie rods. we got an inner tie rod and an outer tie rod. How about that? I was wondering why the uh, wheel was not showing up yet. There it is. Okay, on to the back. I'm not going to mount the wheels just yet. Once again, our K-member needs to be installed. I don't know if you call it a K-member in the rear. And then all our rubber bushings. The knuckle will go on now. We'll go ahead and throw our sway bar here. Rear sway bar, upper suspension arm. More of those rubber bushings I was talking about. That yeah, gets tightened down. All new shiny parts. Much better than what we were dealing with uh, when we were taking everything apart. This is much nicer. Rear suspension arm. In you go. Yeah, this is much more of a elaborate rear end than some of the leaf spring stuff that we come across every now and then on some of the other cars, for sure. But it's fun. 
it's definitely fun and it helps with the experience <laughs> you gain some experience uh, because there's so many parts that you're putting in and installing uh, we can go ahead and do the rear drive axle here and then spin around here i need to take care of first off this guy here and then i always forget the little small rubber bushing on yeah this guy right here he's easy to forget and then now we can do rear suspension arm a that goes in just like that get our spring cap our rear spring and then we should have a absorber cap go ahead and take care of the sway bar rear end link again very complicated rear end compared to some of the other cars that looks like that is all built out we can do our brake disc pads calipers with our cylinder mount that and we should be good there okay on to the other side okay that is that done we have the suspension completed at least for now we still need to to mount and balance our tires but it's looking good we've got i think pretty much all of the engine all the exhaust and all the suspension and now we need to start working on the body while we're here we might as well install our tires oh I was trying to go in a star pattern but i <laughs> missed it on the one Let's see if i can hit it on the second on this one back here mount the wheel tire combo there 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 and there sometimes it just automatically wants you to jump to the next one right next to it but some people point out hey you're not doing a star pattern that is true that is true all right that looks good i'm digging it so now let's lower it down and get all our body parts panels on I bought a few little things that are a little bit different, just to kind of give it a little bit of personality. Not that these need a lot more, but the hood is a facelift 2017, as well as the front bumper. Then I got some smoked headlights, tint or tinted, I guess is what they call it. I just think they look sharp. Just looks good, especially when we end up painting it, which I don't know what color we're going to paint this. We did a GTR a while back, quite a while back in 2018, or Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. And we painted it white, which is probably my favorite color of these things. One of my favorite colors. But for this, uh, we should probably come up with something different than white. Because I've already done a white one. But this one is definitely more detailed, for sure. I love, love this rear bumper, this particular one, and then this wing. You can get these taillights in here, here. And I picked uh, Utah for our license plates, just on random. We'll get this window in here, this door, get the mirrors in, as well as the window. Front right fender, and then our little side skirts down here. It's just got a little flair to it, a little more of a, I just think it looks pretty good like this. A little more understated, not like huge wings or going crazy with a body kit or anything like that. This is looking good. This is looking really good. What a gorgeous car. I mean, it's just so well designed. I don't think it needs to have crazy wings and crazy body kits and everything. But maybe that's just me. I'm more of a, maybe more of a laid back guy when it comes to... I just love the styling of the, the GTR as it is with these little facelift things. But I do like the little uh, flare on these fenders. I think it looks really good. All right. I believe that is our body built out. Okay. That's all looking good in there. Oh, did I put a big question? Did I put brake fluid in? I did not. I'm glad I thought of it now before I, before I tried stopping. I think the game will tell you if you didn't put brake fluid in, but... That would be bad if you did that in real life. Just took off. All right. Close the hood there. Body looks good. We need to start thinking about what we're going to paint it. But first, we need to take care of the interior because there are no seats, no steering wheel, anything like that. And the easiest way to do that is to move it outside and start doing the interior assemble. Here it is. Interior and additional parts. Interior assemble. Already bought a steering wheel and front seats. They're actually Nismo seats which is very fitting, and they look very good. Recaro Nismo. Nice. Okay, back, uh, actually, 
I think we could probably start this thing. I'm gonna open the trunk, see what's in here. I haven't opened that yet. Looks good. Looks like a trunk, I suppose. All right, let's see if she'll start, if she'll fire up. Oh yeah, and sounds good. That sounds really good. All right, enough of that. Let's get this thing over to the dyno for sure. I'd like to see what we did for power, for what, what base power was, and then what we upgraded it to. Because we did do subtle upgrades. They're still upgrades. It'll be nice to see what it was. Uh, enough of that. Let's get this thing going and see what we can do. Factory horsepower, 611 horsepower, 497 foot-pound. Let's start it. And let's, here we go. So as long as we build, as long as we beat 611 over 497, listen to that thing, scream. And we're gonna get, bouncing off the red line, 733. Did you hear that blow off valve too? That sounded so good. 733 over 592, we gained 122 horsepower. It was subtle, it was very subtle modification. And 96 pound feet of torque. Absolutely fantastic. What a great car. Okay, now we need to decide what we're gonna paint it. This color is actually pretty cool. And the current color, like a frost blue, kind of metallic or gloss. No, it is gloss. Let's. Take it over to solid and over to metallic. Yeah, that looks really good too. But we have a lot of options here. That's very nice. Kind of a dark, deep maroon. There's just so many cool options. I think I want to go metallic on this. I think it would look really good. You know, I'm really digging this. This kind of frost blue color. I mean, it looks just so good from every angle. Okay, I'm going for it. Might not be the most exciting color, but I think it's classy. Looks really good with this car. Kind of understated. Uh, it just looks so good. I mean, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's take this thing out. We gotta drive it. How are we on our... I didn't even check. Body is 100%. Parts, 100%. Everything's 100%. We are good to go. I did uh, run a cleaner through the interior. That got... A, that... Is what got us to 100% there. So, with that being said, with our beautiful GTR here, let's take the car out and uh, let's do the speed track. See what we get there. And here we are. First off, let me back this thing up. Give us as much room as we can get. Man, this car looks good. Those front fenders might be a little much, but I kind of dig it. It works. It works with the car, I think. Okay. Here we go. Let's give ourselves as much running room as possible. And here we go. Listen to that blow off valve. Wow. What a car. 175. Can we hit 200? 195, 6, 7, 8, 9, 200. And I think we need to shut it down. Make sure we stop in time. 207. Okay, we had a little more room. So can we beat 207 on the way back? Can we hit 210? What a car. My gosh. Let's give ourselves a little running room. Starting here. And then go for it. <laughs> Just sounds so good. We're already at 120, 130, 150, 170, 180, oh come on, seems like it's not getting, oh, 200, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, we gotta shut it down, we're not gonna make it, we're not gonna make it, okay, well, just pretend that didn't happen, car's fine. <laughs> but we hit 214. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, listen to that thing. Chirp. I love that. Oh, it's so good. It's just so good. 
Let's go inside. Bounce it off the limiter a bit. Yeah, it doesn't really slide too much with the all-wheel drive. Will it J-turn? That's a good question. Kind of. It kind of does it all right. Take it off-road a little bit. And there it is in all its glory. It might have also looked cool with black, like matte black wheels. But I think this is kind of a classy look. But I could, you know, I could see matte black wheels looking really good on this thing. Big question is, did we profit? I hate to sell it, but we're running a garage here. It's just so good to look at. It really is. It came out very well. Some people might not be into the color. I, I think the understated kind of laid back color works really well for this car. And look at that. I mean, it's just so good. It works. All right. Here's the moment of truth. We're down to $17,728. We started with a hundred thousand, a little over a hundred thousand dollars. So what do we got here? <laughs> Sell value $311,280,511 in profit. I say we did pretty good on this car. That seems astronomical to me, but hey, I'm not gonna not gonna complain. That's gonna give us capital to uh, start building some pretty some more exotic cars. So yes, let's sell that car. Except, and we are now sitting at three hundred twenty-eight thousand seven hundred eighty-six bucks, guys. That is absolutely fantastic. We are working our way up, and we are now at level fourteen, just getting close to level fifteen to be able to unlock the auctions, which I'm very excited about. Double check that. Yeah, level fifteen required. Uh, we've got some more barns, and I think maybe that's what we're going to do next time. But for this one, guys, thank you so much. This one's done. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Uh, sure loved having a GTR, owning it for just a little bit. Guys, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.